Hello good people, it's me your money manager Kumaiti Lakosi Itzile. In today's video, we are answering yet again another question relating to stock investing. And the question that we're answering today is where or how do I start buying shares? This is a very common question that I receive almost on a daily basis. So when answering this question, I'm going to start with the don'ts. What you don't do, then I'll take you through what you do and I'll take you through the requirements. Are we ready to start? I'm hoping, I hope we are. So the don'ts, the first thing, the don'ts. Number one, do not put your money in an investment that you do not understand. This is a very important principle by Warren Buffett that I feel that we need to uphold. This principle emphasizes the importance of financial or investment education. Before you go out there and put your money in that investment vehicle, make sure that you have equipped yourself with financial education in such a way that you understand the decision that you are making and the implications and the associated risk. That's number one. Number two is once you have decided that you want to be a stock investor and there is a company or companies that you are particularly interested in, you don't go directly to that company to buy its stocks or shares. That's not what you do. Rather, let's look at what you do. Once you have decided to be a stock investor and you've selected one or two companies that you want to invest in, the starting point is for you to contact a stock broker. We have three authorized and licensed stock brokers regulated by non-bank financial institutions regulator authority. And these are namely Stock Brokers Botswana, Motswedi Securities, Imara Capital Securities. These are the three licensed brokers that you need to be in touch with to start your investment journey. Yes, this is what you are going to do. They are going to do two things for you. They're going to open two accounts for you. The first account is the trading account. This is their internal account to facilitate your buying and selling of shares. Secondly, they are going to open another account on your behalf with Central Securities Depository Botswana. What is this second account for? This second account with Central Securities Depository Botswana is for electronic safekeeping of your shares or securities. Securities shares, we use them, meaning the same thing when we are investing in stocks. So this account is more like your bank account. When you buy shares, the shares are going to be deposited into your central securities depository Botswana. When you sell shares, the shares are going to be withdrawn out of your central securities depository Botswana. At any point in time, this account will reflect your holdings. It will give you a list of all the companies that you own together with the corresponding number of shares that you own for these particular companies. Ideally, you're supposed to be receiving the electronic statement of your holding with Central Securities Depository Botswana on a monthly basis. If you don't receive it, you can request for the statement at any time for you to see your holdings. That's more like a bank account. If you don't receive your bank statement, you are free to ask for it. Your bank statement is going to show your transactional activities. It's going to show what has happened during a particular period and the money that came in, the money that went out and the balance that you have. The same thing with the Central Securities Depository Botswana account. The shares that you bought, the shares that you have sold, that are taken out, the shares that you buy are deposited into this particular account. What are the requirements for opening this account? If you're going to open this account under your individual capacity, here are the requirements. Number one is your proof of income. Number two is your identification document. This can be um, OMANG or ID for locals and passport for foreigners. Number three is your proof of residence. This can be a utility bill in your names, a title deed, a certificate, just anything proving where you stay or even an affidavit from police 
showing you where you stay. So that's when you open an account as an individual. If you choose to open the accounts for your company, here are the requirements. First is resolution from your company secretary authorizing the account opening and showing the signatories of the company. Yes, number two is company registration documents. This is going to be your certificate of incorporation and extract just to show the shareholders, the directors. Then you are going to send identification documents of the directors. That are those identification documents of the directors, they need to be accompanied by what? Proof of residence for the directors, right? And then proof of income for the company. This can be financial statements for the company. This can be bank statements for the company. Personally, I used my three months bank statements to open accounts for my company. And then you are also going to need proof of physical address for the company. That's it. These are the requirements. Once you have them, you send them to your broker. One to three days, the account will be opened. Then you are ready to start buying shares. So how do I go about buying? This is what you are going to do. Once the accounts are ready, your broker will notify you that your trading account and your central securities deposit at Arizona account have been approved and you are now ready to start buying shares. So when you buy, you are going to deposit money into your broker's account. They will share the account details with you. Once you've deposited the money, you are going to take the proof of payment, send an email to them with an accompanying instruction of what they should do. Let me say you paid a thousand. You're going to take that proof of payment and then on the body of the email, you are going to tell them, buy this company for me. I've deposited a thousand by this company for me or this company's for me. There, the proof of, the proof of payment is attached, showing that indeed you've sent the money their way. They will place an order for you. If there's a willing seller, they will buy the shares for you. Once they have successfully executed the order, they will send you an order notification, an order note showing you we were successful to buy you this shares at this particular price and this is the number of shares that we bought and here are all the associated fees that we paid that's it that's all that you do and then it will take t plus three t is the trading day three is three more days for the shares to settle in your central securities deposit Botswana account so it means that after three days the shares will be reflected. You can ask for your statement and you'll receive the shares being reflected there on your electronic statement. This is all it takes for you to start investing in shares. I hope this video is as clear as it can be. This is all that I wanted to share with you today. Please don't forget to leave a like and a comment for me. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you in another video.